federal agents to make massive arrests in Muslim Michigan and that is not all they find. Michigan is a well-known hotbed of activity from full-on refugee infiltration to an astonishing illegal immigrant influx. The activity by ICE agents as well as the FBI seems to get more in-depth daily. Many of Trump's new laws are finally allowing our enforcement agencies to actually do the job they were hired to do in this country. While it may take a number of years to fully get the refugee problem and the illegal immigrant issue settled to a level that can be dealt with easily, at least strides are finally being taken. According to AFF. Grand Rapids, Michigan. A Mexican national arrested in Wyoming, who has a prior conviction for fourth-degree child abuse and two convictions for child neglect, is among the 33 foreign nationals taken into custody during a four-day operation conducted by U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE, this week in western Michigan, targeting at-large criminal aliens, illegal re-entrants and other immigration violators. Of those arrested during the operation, which was spearheaded by ICE Enforcement and Removal Operations, ERO, 24, or nearly 80 percent, had prior criminal convictions. Criminal convictions of those arrested included, but are not limited to DUI, domestic battery, contempt of court, possession of open intoxicants, criminal sexual conduct, child abuse, fourth degree, child neglect, destruction of property, domestic violence, larceny false identity to law enforcement, and attempted identity theft, among other offenses. Among those arrested were, a 37-year-old Liberian male with a conviction for the offense of criminal sexual conduct, third degree. He was ordered removed from the United States in 2011 and will remain in ICE custody pending removal from the United States. A 22-year-old Mexican female with convictions for operating without a license, two counts of child neglect, and child abuse, fourth degree. She will remain in ICE custody pending the outcome of her removal proceedings. A 20-year-old Salvadoran male with convictions for destruction of property, larceny, and false identity to law enforcement. He will remain in ICE custody pending the outcome of his removal proceedings. The just-concluded operation targeted public safety threats such as convicted criminal aliens and individuals who have violated our nation's immigration laws, including individuals who re-entered the country after being removed, other immigration violators, and immigration fugitives ordered deported by federal immigration judges. Operations like this one demonstrate ISIS continued focus on the arrest of dangerous criminal aliens as well as those who enter the United States illegally, said Rebecca Dusai, field office director for Euro in Detroit. I'm grateful to serve with the men and women of ICE who selflessly put themselves in harm's way to protect the communities we live and work in. Some of the individuals arrested during this week's enforcement action will be presented for federal prosecution for reentry after deportation, a felony punishable by up to 20 years in prison. Those not being criminally prosecuted will be processed for removal from the country. Individuals who have outstanding orders of deportation or who return to the United States illegally after being deported, are subject to immediate removal from the country. The arrestees, 28 men and 5 women, included nationals from 4 countries, Mexico, 22, Guatemala, 7, El Salvador, 3, and Liberia. ICE deportation officers conduct targeted enforcement operations every day in locations around the country as part of the agency's ongoing efforts to protect the nation, uphold public safety and protect the integrity of our immigration laws and border controls. During targeted enforcement operations, ICE officers frequently encounter additional suspects who may be in the United States in violation of federal immigration laws. Those persons will be evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis and, when appropriate, arrested by ICE. ICE continues to focus its enforcement resources on individuals who pose a threat to national security, public safety and border security. ICE conducts targeted immigration enforcement in compliance with federal law and agency policy. However, as ICE Acting Director Thomas Homan has made clear, ICE does not exempt classes or categories of removable aliens from potential enforcement. All of those in violation of the immigration laws may be subject to immigration arrest, detention and, 
if found removable by final order, removal from the United States. It is definitely well past time to remove the problem that is creating so much turmoil and the huge hike in crime rates nationwide. Good job eyes, keep hitting them where it hurts.